We all saw that Freya attacked Kratos in the God of War Ragnarok trailer and the immediate question which came out was how did she get her wings or the warrior spirit back? So one theory is that she teamed up with Odin so he gave the warrior spirit back to her to face one common enemy that is Kratos indeed. So that's it. But another theory I'm having is a bit interesting. Baldur dying was the reason Freya wants revenge and Baldur is the son of Odin as well. So Odin and Freya have a definite reason to go after Kratos. So for this one reason, Odin might have lifted the spell he cast on Freya to rob her of her warrior spirit. Now why would Odin lift the spell immediately or in a bit of time after Baldur's death? This is where Odin's description in God of War comes in. We obviously know that Odin seeks a load of knowledge and will do whatever to get it. Plus, he always seems to have a sort of plan. So he might be lifting the spell on Freya only as a small part of his big plan to come out on top in Ragnarok against Kratos. Now, all of this makes sense due to how smart Odin is. He's probably using Baldur's death to give Freya what she wants, which is revenge indeed. But obviously, she just has to see the bigger picture of the whole situation. Now, so far in the video, there might be two questions which you might have got. The first being, why do I think that Odin is extremely smart? Pretty much everything that Odin has done has affected us as the player in the first game. An example of this is Mimi's eye because we had to go into the snake to get it and we were attacked by Baldur soon. So it's kind of possible that Odin had all of this planned in advance and even Mimi's description of him fits the point of Odin being extremely clever. And the second question is why would Freya see the bigger picture in the next game and stop her pursuit of revenge? Odin has done a lot of things which were against Freya. There's a lot of reasons why Freya will not team up with Odin. So she will probably go against Kratos all alone and lose initially. But my guess is that she will change her mindset and team up with Kratos. Now why would she do this? My guess is that Freya will realize that revenge is not an option. Kratos is one of the best examples of this. Another reason why I think that Freya will not team up with Odin but instead help Kratos in the long run is because in Norse mythology, Freya is one of the surviving gods during Ragnarok, whereas Odin, Thor, Tyr and a few more gods end up dying. So that's another reason. But then again, even in the Alfheim mural, we can clearly see Freya on Odin's side. Yes, there's no Kratos and Atreus on the mural, but we still can expect something to change because Kratos is a sort of factor for Ragnarok in the next game. So Mimir himself does say that Kratos changed something to trigger the event and that does include Baldur's stats. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. The wolves determine when Ragnarok begins, and now he controls the wolves. A battle fought on his timetable, is a battle he better stands to win. Odin wants to prevent Ragnarok, but the Serpent's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? Fate's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Hold on, wait a minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. Like him, I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. So do let me know what you guys think. This is just a theory again. I can't be wrong as well. Do you guys think whether Freya got her warrior spirit back due to Odin or something else in the next game? Do let me know down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching guys. That's about it for today's video. Do leave a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.